Hello, my friends. Jacob's here once again. It is Tuesday, and I thank you for pressing that little button to play this video. I wish that I could augment it, like put some really cool effects in there, but, uh, you know, I, you know, I... Okay, so, augmented reality. You remember Pokemon Go, right? It was a craze. It took the world by storm because people are looking for escape, and children today, they can't seem to escape enough. The Dan Dan and I, we're watching Netflix, and we're looking for something to watch, and I've been telling her about the uh, Black Mirror. Which is, you know, season four is coming out very, very shortly. I'm very excited for it. I really like this because I, I'm interested in all this stuff, and I like that people are creating material that you can watch that can see you know, the darker side of what can happen with technology. I mean, especially when we have people like uh, the guys that ran Facebook coming out one after the other and saying that, look, we have basically done damage to people emotionally. Uh, the millennials today, they say that they are becoming more and more uh, self-absorbed, narcissistic, and course depressed because no one's truly happy anymore because you can't get enough right so this next wave augmented reality we've been waiting for the uh the next big advance in technology and gaming and social media and everything to happen and it is nigh I stumbled upon this after we were, you know, going to that Black Mirror show. And, uh, and I pull up uh, season three, episode two, which just scared me to the very core. It was, um, it's called Playtest. If you haven't seen it, I don't want to give it away, but it's about augmented reality. A new gaming system's coming online and they're beta testing it. And a traveler, he signs up for it, gets a little implant, and it has, uh, you know, an artificial algorithm that has now access to its... Uh, uh, the user's memories to create the most realistic horror sci-fi game that a person can imagine. Sounds like nothing could go wrong, right? Well, watch the show. But as we're watching this, I start talking about the dangers of it and how I see it becoming something that is going to really just Oh my God, it is going to, you don't think, you think people are walking around staring at their phone in a coma now. You think people are isolated now. Now, I don't even know what the future looks like. After finding out about uh, this startup, this secretive Florida startup that everybody's talking about, it's called Magic Leap. which finally unveiled its first product. There were estimates of $5 billion that Google and Alibaba and other companies were pouring into this startup. So let me tell you about the product, okay? Magic Leap One is a futuristic looking augmented reality headset that's powered by a small uh, circular little computer that hooks onto your belt, okay? Look like this. You're not gonna need your phone anymore. You can have a little computer, little little side pack computer. You can have these little cool little goggles, and you're gonna have a little joystick, and you're gonna walk around much like in those Black Mirror episodes. It does everything that your smartphone does, everything your computer does, everything that you know your television does, and more. Instead of having to look at something, and then you're looking down at your phone and being limited to uh, a screen, wherever that may be. Now you're the no, you're the unit. Your, the, your field of vision and your hearing is now your device. So basically, you have now become immersed in this virtual world, and the virtual world has become immersed in you. The blurring of the lines of technology and humanity, yes, uh, it is going full throttle. 
And next year is going to be the big year for this. Magic Leap intends to bring your online life into your real life, okay? So imagine you're sitting there in a coffee shop and you wanna do, uh, you wanna check your email, right? Well, you press the button, boom, it comes up. You can see it and you feel the vision while you're drinking your macchiata or whatever you drink. I don't even know, I've never had a macchiata. Just say, I like the way it sounds. But not just that, you can also then, you know, check on your social media feed. And then you can, uh, you can also, you know, go to Google and uh, just research the next topic for your big YouTube video. Or you can, guess what? Virtually sit with your friends and have a meeting and then they're there because in your field of vision. It's, I mean, it sounds really cool, right? Super cool. It's all the, uh, it's all the rage. It's gonna be all the rage, but it's bringing us down possibly a uh, scary path. Think about this for a second. Do we really need to blur the lines of technology anymore? I mean, haven't we learned what Facebook has done to relationships and people in the world? Just that's just a social media, a little teeny bit. Have we have we noticed, you know, that our children are slowly becoming hunchbacks and their thumbs are becoming huge? <laughs> Exaggerating a little bit, but I mean, have we noticed, you know, when you, I go to the gym a lot, you would go to the gym now. And there was a time when people would be exercising. Most of the time now, people are on their phone and they're. Uh, they're texting and they're watching videos and they're taking selfies and it's, I mean, it's quite bizarre and that's at a place where people actually want to be active. Not to mention all the children that are, you know, stuffed in front of their computers because they don't go out anymore. You know, they, uh, they all interact with each other online in real time in a virtual world, but now they're going to be fully immersed in it because that's the big next step. As the Magic Leap website says, the headset merges environment mapping, precision tracking, and sound field audio. And uh, you know, basically, you go through the world, the world, any world can exist as it exists. From checking out the solar system, you know, to um, you're sitting with your, uh, you know, your loved one, and you want to show them something really cool, and you want to pull it up online, and you want to expand it, and you want to, you can visually do that, and they're going to have tracking where you can, you know, your hands can be tracking, and then soon, let's think about this. You want to talk about virtual gaming? What about when you can actually play a game that takes place in your house? Because that has applications as well. I did mention earlier that you can be at conference with anyone. You can virtually appear in the room with people across the world. And you don't even have to leave your house. Uh, we've seen this in movies before. We've been predictively programmed to accept it. And I mean, now probably the biggest blockbuster of all time, which is going to be coming out very shortly. I'm sure you've seen the ads, Ready Gamer 1, where, you know, what do you do? The elites, they basically robbed the planet of everything and they basically just took all everybody else and they just packed them like sardines into these little, you know, these little sustainable living developments. And since everybody's so miserable, well, you know, we, we get, kept them focused on uh, our augmented reality. And so that's what everybody does. They put on their little headsets and they escape. You want to talk about we may be living in a matrix. We're not too, too far away from it. If we're not already in it to begin with, check out my video on uh, simulation theory. Now, Salon Magazine actually did a pretty cool report about augmented reality, and here's the problem, okay? Sounds all great. Well, guess what? They have um, psychosis that is related to immersive gaming, immersive 
a lot of things. Researchers, doctors Mark Griffith and Angela Ortiz conducted three studies where they used about 1,600 video game players in Great Britain, Britain. And what they found is many of them showed what they call GTP, which is a game transfer phenomenon, where hours after they're playing, they're finished playing the game, they start hearing, you know, audible things from the game and they see things. And um, some players experienced voices that were telling them to, you know, kill themselves. So weird, weird stuff. And they call it a psychosis. And what they realized was when they turned off the, uh, you know, the augmented reality and the virtual reality, and they pulled the gamers away from their immersive uh, games and gave them some time to actually get a good night's sleep because of how they're engineered. You're so addicted to the adrenaline, you don't want to go to sleep. So of course you're sleep deprived. So then the augmenting of your reality makes things worse because guess what? When you're tired and you've been doing this on a, you, you don't, you can't tell the difference between the game and reality anymore. They actually have studies that, you know, this Pokemon Go stuff, right? Well, studies showed that there are effects from this. Minecraft. A lot of people that play Minecraft on a regular basis, they developed a uh, condition where they started seeing, like, the blocks and everything. Like, they could literally see it until they took a little bit of a break. Very weird stuff. And, of course, researchers at Tel Aviv University published documented cases of internet-related psychosis indicating that immersive screams were generating true psychotic phenomena. That's great. And that this spiraling psychopathy was a new consequence of our times. Dr. Joel Gold at NYU and his brother Ian at McGill University um, have said, and they're investigating whether these reality severing aspects of augmented reality and the technology today can lead to hallucinations, delusions, and of course, a genuine psychosis, because that is what they are fearing. Dr. Andrew Doan from John Hopkins, who's the head of addiction and mental health, uh, research for the uh, Pentagon and the Navy, he has researched video game effects and has documented cases where young video gaming soldiers, when combined with sleep deprivation as well, had psychotic-like delusions, and in one instance, um, homicidal, ideations. It means they're uh, thinking of, you know, going on one of those video game murder rampages. Okay, so I just want to let you know about this, uh, this, this new thing, this new great tech coming out. It's, um, look, I mean, it's interesting. I mean, I, I'm not going to tell you it's not interesting. It's not um, something that I, I, but like anything else, it's okay for me because I'm you know, I'm going to be 47 and I'm, uh, I'm mature and I've developed emotionally and I have a, a trajectory for my life and I know what's important. And um, I'm, I'm at a point in my life where I want my life to be better and I'm not going to do that by trying to trick myself into thinking it is, which is what augmented reality does. And I know a lot of people today, they want to escape. So this is going to be like their, you know, this is going to be their, their pill of choice. And that scares me a little bit. I do think that AI is getting out of control. And of course, when we get augmented reality and then we are gonna blend, of course, artificial intelligence to that augmented reality, and then we take it to next step, which is of course, we, why do we need the machine? We just tap into the human brain and just use that as a machine. And then next thing you know, we're being totally controlled by robots. I mean, it could happen, right? It could happen, but that's not what, I'm really worried about. I mean, that's that's just my the, the writer in me. Who is to say that that couldn't happen one day? I don't know. But I do think that we don't need to augment our reality. I think we need to find the true adventure that's already right here before us all. You know, there's that exciting little life that is in us all that's waiting to burst free. People don't see that their life, whatever their life is, they are the lead character and everybody else is secondary. You can really make your life what you want it to be. You can augment your life with real things, you know, like love, because that's real. You can feel it, it's tangible. I know people won't say it's real, they say it's an emotion. Let me tell you something. You start adding a little more love to your life, 
And you don't tell me your world doesn't get brighter. And you don't need a little cockadoodle doo waking you up in the morning. And you don't need a little solar system spiraling around you. You don't need no, you know, crazy ducks <laughs> swimming on by while you're in the middle of a conversation at your local coffee shop, which of course is now corporate Starbucks because everything has to be owned by the elite, right? In any event, listen, I'm overtired. And I love each and every one of you, and I wanted to get a show out to you. And um, I hope that this opened your eyes to uh, what's coming down the road, because it's something that we all need to uh, think about and really seriously ponder whether or not we want our children wearing these light wear headsets, what they call. <laughs> it looks silly. Imagine what everybody's going to look like in a couple of years, maybe just a year. People walking around, you're going to be walking in a park, and you're going to be seeing everybody with these little headsets on. Oh, man, what is going on? We need to wake up. All right, people. I love each and every one of you. Please do subscribe, share it around, tell your friends, do what you do. And I will try to see you again in the next couple of days. If not next Tuesday, it is. I love you all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.